Want to stop a criminal fast? That's what these new stop sticks are designed to do. This is how you used to do it. Drag a 10-pound strip of metal spikes across a road and try to time it just right. Hopefully the vehicle runs it over. For officers pursuing criminals on the run, it's dangerous and often deadly. There's been you know, numerous incidences with people getting fatally wounded. Um, most recently, there's been three in the last three months fatally injured by deploying manual sticks. That's about to change. Arm fire. The Nighthawk is a remotely deployed and retractable spike strip system. You can deploy the device up to 100 feet away. It shoots out the spike strips 27 feet out into the roadway, and it also retracts the spike strips as well without the officer being on the side of the roadway. So this is where the, um, the sticks actually get fired out of, the, out of the case. So what you have here is you have a three pound drogue. So you can kind of feel it. Basically, it's just lead shot. That's tethered to the spikes. There's, there's 10 spikes in here, each 15 inches long. You just put it on the side of the road, take this out, yeah. arm it, arm fire, you're, you're good, shoots out, and then arm fire again. Pretty simple training. You guys want to go launch it? Yeah, okay. Today, the Pima County Sheriff's Department in Phoenix, Arizona, is trying them out for the first time. The spikes are going to shoot out a total of 27 feet. So about this figure 30 feet from here is when the, the spikes will be out. As far as judging the distance of the car, um, what you're going to want to do is, let's say the car is going 30 miles an hour. So times that by three, so that'd be 90. So it's about 90 feet ahead of the car is what you would shoot it. It's good to go. Remember, arm, fire, arm, fire again. Stand back. Oops. When it gets launched, it doesn't need to, we don't care about how it lands because whatever way it lands, there's always going to be spikes presented towards that tire. You throw a triangle on the ground, it's always going to land the right way, and the right way is with sticks popping the tires. It is encased in some PVC as well as you know, some styrofoam in here, so as well as the sleeve. So the other benefit of the system is that you'll never have debris left on the roadway. When the car runs over, the, it actually compresses this down, and that's when the spikes get placed into the car's tire. And so we just had a good deployment. Let's fire it live and uh, catch the car. Pop some tires. All right. New system is able to be deployed via remote. Uh, that's a huge advantage for deputies and officers that utilize this piece of equipment for the sheer fact that you can keep yourself back away from the roadside when the suspect vehicle is traveling, allowing you to deploy that and not be right up so close. When adrenaline's going, you're rushing, you're trying to correct your mistake, you tend to forget some of the uh, safety things like staying out of the roadway, and that could be a huge issue. We got two good punctures over here. You can see, you come over here, you can see the, uh, here's one. See how they're hollowed? The reason to work on run flats is because of, of what of it's hollowed out, right? So once it's in, you're not blocking this channel with anything. It's just gonna it's gonna release air no matter. There's nothing in its way to release air. Let's just check the second tire here. Uh, it's probably yeah. It's, this this the spikes underneath here right now. So you just stopped on the spike. But two good two good two good uh, tire punctures. There's been several instances over the years where police officers have lost their lives. Yeah, I would definitely feel better utilizing this system just because of the remote deployment, the uh, safety things that we talked about being away from the roadside.